In version 6.1 of Survey Analytics, we have added new enhancements to the question templates and tools, as well as the analytics. Let's take a tour of the new enhancements. The first one I'd like to show you is that we've added new smiley face icons to the rating questions. So if you want to add this type of question, you'll just need to go into the template and pull up the smiley rating question. And after you have that, go ahead and fill out your question text and set up your answer options that go with each smiley face. For example, here I asked, you know, how likable is James Franco to you? And each smiley face coincides with an answer. Go ahead and save that question and you're all set. The next thing we've also added, scroll into the next question, is that now you can easily pipe in any kind of code that you would like at any part of your survey template. So if you click on edit, you will see an icon that's a, sort of a piping drop down and you'll see what that is. And what that will do is it'll open up answers to the questions above. So if I have an answer option that I'd like to embed into the question text, all I need to do is go like that. And instead of having to type in the currency and then the squiggly line and then the question code, you can, all you need to do is use the piping download option there. You also will have that available to you in the um, down here under the answer options as well if you need that. So that's pretty exciting. The last thing we've also included is that we also now have an option for you to go ahead and include a close-ended um, scale library to any of the close-ended question types. So what that means is that for questions that have a scale that you like to use, you can then go in and access a library of questions. So let's just go ahead and just create a simple one here. Um, we'll just do a multi-choice select one and just do this simple one here. So when you have this, all you need to go is go to your answer options and you'll see this icon. This is the scale library. And what it will do is give you different options that you may want to put in. So yes, no, maybe, NA, poor to excellent. These are for rating skills as well as different countries. Um, and also you can access any of your rating skills from your library of questions that you've saved. So those are things that you can access. So that should help you with um, saving time building out your question questionnaire. The last thing we've also included here is that in the image multimedia, you can now access your library and you'll be able to see that it is a lot better looking for sure. Um, and so uh, it has it, uh, the images are um, a lot more interactive and then if you scroll over um, you can then copy the image code uh, also the file and you can copy uh, preview what that would look like and if you need to create this into a banner you just click here if you need to delete it you select here and so that is something new that we've included and it should also make it easier for you to um, drag images, multiple images at one time. And on the side here, you'll be able to see what your file limit is. Um, if you like to go in and do a search, you can also do a search here and then specify what kind of file that would be. Um, and these are all the different file types that we accept. 
in the Image and Multimedia Library. If you have any questions about anything that you see today, make sure to contact your dedicated customer success manager and they'll be happy to help you. Thank you.